You know what's one of the most beautiful demonstrations of God's beauty in creation? The rainbow. It is so gorgeous. It's just every time we see a rainbow, we just like, wow, that's so cool. Did you know there were are seven colors in a rainbow? What I like so much about that is when we look into the Word of God, seven is God's perfect no, a number. Seven days in creation. We go to the book of Revelation. There are seven spirits before God's throne. We look at the word of God. Seven is a holy, holy number, which tells us that not only is the rainbow beautiful, but of course the rainbow is divine. We know that. We know that when the Lord uh, destroyed the world with the flood and uh, rescued Noah and his family, that after the flood subsided, the Lord put a rainbow in the sky as a sign of the everlasting covenant, never to destroy the earth again with the flood. It's a sign, the rainbow is a sign of mercy. It's a sign of the covenant of God's mercy. So every time you see a rainbow in the sky, remember that's a sign of God's love and mercy for you. I love the fact that Ezekiel, when he saw the Son of God glorified in Ezekiel 1.28, he saw the Son of God surrounded with the radiance of a rainbow. And the biggest whammy of all with the power of the rainbow is that when the Apostle John was on the island of Patmos because of his faith, he had a vision there. He was caught up into the heavens and he recorded the vision that he had there in what we call today the book of Revelation. And in the fourth chapter, in the third verse of the book of Re Revelation, John says that in this heavenly vision, he saw the Lord seated on his throne. And John describes that his throne was surrounded by, get this, a rainbow. The rainbow has broken into the earth, my beloved friend, as a sign and a symbol and a manifestation of God's glory, beauty, and love for humanity. This is why it's so important that we take the rainbow back as being an exclusive uh, sign of the LGBTQ community. We as God's people need to reclaim what belongs to God and what belongs to us. I'm encouraging you, go to my website, takingtherainbowback.com and join the movement.